don't get lax when making measurements or else you have to deal with parallax error. Basically, when you make a measurement of a liquid, you want to measure from the center of the meniscus. And unless you're dealing with mercury, this is going to be like kind of the bottom of a smile. And you want to measure so that you're measuring where the bottom of that smile is on the line. And when you do this, you need to make sure that your eyes are level with the line. If they're not, then you have this thing called parallax error, where things are, where it's going to look like it's above the line, or it's gonna look like it's below the line, um, depending on like your line of sight. So to see what I mean, like point your finger at some object, um, close one eye, point your finger on an object. Now switch your eyes. If the object in orientation to your finger moved, right? Similarly, the water level or the level of whatever liquid is going to move depending on the level of your eyes. And this introduces parallax error. And you can avoid it by keeping eye level. And so you want to make sure that your eyes are level with the thing and that the thing is level. So right now you can see as I'm moving this all around, it looks like the level is changing. And so you want to make sure when you're doing the measurement that it's on a flat surface. And so you might have to bend down or get on a stool. If you have to hold it up, you want to make sure that it's going to, that it's still level. And so what I like to do is I kind of turn it and so you can see that the lines, like if the lines go all the way around, you can line up the lines so that they stay together. So you can see that here you're not level, here you're not level, and here now you can be level. Here now you can be level and you read the bottom of the meniscus. Um, and this works the same for whatever thing you're using. Now sometimes there's going to be like dark lines and sometimes there's light lines and sometimes it's hard to tell where's the water, where's the liquid and where's the line. If you're working with something with a dark line, stick something like white behind it, this can help. If you're working with something um, with like those clear lines, sometimes what can help is to put something dark behind it. Um, just play around with whatever works for you. But remember to keep the thing level um, so look and see, are the lines lining up? And make sure your eyes are level with it. Um, and so this might mean you have to squat down, you have to go into like some sort of banana splits, or you have to step on a stool or something like this. But it's really important that you are measuring the bottom of the meniscus on the line. It's also important that you measure the meniscus uh, from the meniscus when you're using like a serological pipette. And so here it can be more difficult because you have to kind of like hold it up and when you're dealing with something, like when you're pipetting and stuff, you often have things at an angle. Now, if you really care about the, the accuracy and stuff, you want to then hold it up and make, when you're doing this, and make sure that it's level and your meniscus is right on the line. Sometimes we don't care that much about the accuracy, so I just kind of like, when it's at an angle, see what it is like in between, and like kind of like halfway, halfway in. So, parallax error was a kind of random error, because like each time you're kind of probably looking a little bit differently. And with random errors, as I said, they kind of like even themselves out. If you were to do the same experiment over and over each time, you would do it a little differently. You would be looking a little higher or looking a little lower, left, right, that sort of thing. There's also systematic error. And in systematic error, every the error is always in the same direction. So instead of sometimes being higher and sometimes being lower, it would always be higher and all, or always be lower. So for example, if you thought you were supposed to measure from the top of the meniscus, and then you were realized like, oh, I was supposed to be measuring from the bottom of the meniscus. Well, now all those measurements you had before would be have a systematic error. They'd all be higher and this would inflate all of their values compared to the real value. Both of these types of error will affect your accuracy, how close you are to the real value. But you could still have really high precision, say if you were measuring from the top of the meniscus every time, your values would all be really close together, so they would be very precise, but they wouldn't be accurate because they'd be shifted compared to where you're supposed to be. And so remember, to measure from the center of the meniscus, which is most cases in your liquids is going to be a like a smile, you're gonna have a concave, and it's going to be, the center is going to be the bottom of that, and you want the bottom of that to be on, like, on the line, or if you're measuring, that would be where you would measure between the lines. If you were trying to see where the bottom is, that would be your measuring point. Um, and this is because what happens is the liquid, it kind of like adheres to the surface um, of the container of the thing and then kind of like pulls up. And depending on how much it likes the surface versus how much it likes itself, it's going to pull up more or pull up less. So sometimes it'll be more curvy, sometimes it'll be less curvy. In all of these cases, you want to measure from the middle of the meniscus. Remember to keep it level, keep your eyes level with it. Um, so use something light or dark, depending on your thing, if it works. 
um, look and see that the lines are like going around, that the lines line up with one another to make sure that this is level. Um, and similarly, if it's on a flat surface, you still wanna look and make sure the lines are level so with your eyesight. That'll tell you that your eyes are in the right lane, um, the right like sight lane. So that's just some tips for how you can make your measurements matter. And so happy measuring.